so so everybody um i just started streaming okay cool it's showing me so no video today because um i'm like bleh. um my one of my dogs we had to send her away for training um and she left this morning, and so I'm just kind of emotional about it. Um, but, you know, alhamdulillah, it's going to be good for her. Um, she's going to come back, and she's going to be really good. And I get to spend some, you know, extra time with my other pupper. And she gets to snuggle mama a bit more. Um, and we have the Sims Summit today, which is huge. I just watched it. Um... I kind of am blown away, to be honest. There's a lot in that video. Um, so we'll talk about all of that while I'm streaming. Um, sorry, my friend sent me a picture of her cat and then said, I'm sorry. I, I, you don't like cats. I remembered as soon as I sent that and I was like, I, I do like cats. I'm just definitely allergic. Okay. Um, so yeah, so today we're playing, um, the Sims and we have one of them, like literally the most important Jewish holiday, um, in the history of ever. Uh, and that's, that's what we're playing today. Like I was playing last night and the holiday started and I stopped playing just so that way I could show some of this holiday to you guys. So, at least I think I did. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I am wrong. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I didn't stop before Yom Kippur, but um, the next holiday is Sukkot, and that one's really fun, um, so I stopped before Sukkot. So, the one that you missed in between, which you guys will get if you are subscribed to my Patreon, um, you'll get it soon. If you are not subscribed to my Patreon, you're going to get it later on via Twitter. Um, but what I played last night off stream was um, about Yom Kippur. Um, which is one of the, is like the most important holiday in Judaism. Um, it's the day of repentance, the day of atonement. Um, it's the day when our lives are sealed into the book of life for another year. So you, you know, you ask people for forgiveness if you've harmed them. You pray all day. You fast if you're able to. Um, and actually what's really interesting is in Islam we have um, Ashura. Um, which is the same thing. So for Sunni Muslims, it's the same thing. For Shia Muslims, it's somewhat, something else. Um, for, uh, for Sunni Muslims, um, it's a day of atonement. Um, the calendar, the Islamic calendar used to be lunisolar, just like the Jewish calendar, and we have the same days. Um, and so um, while Ashra is uh, two to three days, um, Yom Kippur is one day, um, and so basically we have hadith, um, that say that, um, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, saw a, uh, a Jew fasting, and he asked why he was fasting, and he said, well, I'm fasting because Prophet Moses, um, alayhi salam, fasted on this day, and so, um, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, okay, well, I'm going to have people fast too, and we're going to fast at least one extra day. Um, so that's the story of how um, Ashra kind of started in um, Islam. It's different for... Um, it's different for Shia Muslims because Shia Muslims celebrate it um, as a day of mourning um, for the death of Hussein. 
um, who died during a uh, war. He was a martyr. Um, and so they celebrate it much differently than Sunni Muslims do, um, but there's still a little bit of a connection. So it's really neat. Um, it's really interesting. That's why I decided to share it with you guys. Um, yeah, so what we're playing today is Sukkot. So you can see here, it's got like a harvest um, symbol. Um, Sukkot is the Jewish harvest festival. It is um, celebrated at the beginning of fall. Um, and it like it lasts um, like a week. Uh, some people call it uh, Shake a Lemon at God Week um, because we use um, an etrog, which is like a, a citron, um, which is it kind of like a lemon. Um, and you take that and the lulav, which is like a, a, a palm frond, and you shake it as part of the ceremony. Um, you also are supposed to spend time in what's called a sukkah outside. So a sukkah is a built structure that has three walls and a roof. Um, the roof has to be mostly covered with um, like leaves and things like that. Um, but you have to be able to see the stars through it. Traditional sukkah would um, have walls that go all the way up, but I had to make a makeshift one. Um, you're supposed to eat inside of it. So that's why I put this here. This is like the lulav and this is like the etrog. Um, I put them on the table for funsies. Um, I moved their books in here because people like to read in the sukkah. Um, and it's just a really fun time um, for Jewish families. And you get to spend time outside um, and eating outside in the nice weather. So, me let people know that I am playing without having updated my mods, by the way, if anybody is here and saw that I was going to update my mods. So tonight is actually, wait, no, tonight's, today's the 18th. So two days ago is when um, Sukkot ended in real life. Um, my days are all mixed up right now. So, uh, yeah, I didn't get to participate. Um, hello, Alessandra. Hello, Farming Girl. Hello, Larissa. Assalamu alaikum. Um, I didn't get to participate in Sukkot. Ah! I accidentally turned the Sim Summit stream back on. Um, I didn't get to participate. I have not um, made a Sukkot or anything before. I really am looking forward to it whenever I have kids. But with how crazy things have been and having just moved, there was no way for us to try and do that this year. Um, in July, we can do it next year, and it'll be really fun. I love being outside in the fall um, and eating outside and reading and spending time outside. So I would love to have something that I can turn into a sukkah um, during Sukkot every year. So the summit, can we just say, like, I know, I know better exceptions. I know, I'm sorry. I couldn't download, I couldn't like download my new mods, update my mods because um, I am going to the bank tomorrow. Uh, but like I said yesterday, somebody hacked my bank account or something. Um, and so my bank account is like shut down right now. <laughs> um, I can't access it. And, um, so like I, the mods that I need to update are my sim realist mods 
And since I have him on Patreon, I get early access to things. So the updates are all the Patreon updates, which I now can't access because my Patreon didn't pay out because my card is shut down. So, um, inshallah, tomorrow I get a new credit or a new debit card and can actually like download my mods. Hello, Sequoia K. Nice to see you. You're a new name. I love your name, by the way. All right. So today is Sukkot. It's 730 in a Sims day. My Sim here has to get some stuff done. We have been trying to get this stuff done for like three days now. They are having a particularly rough time. So we're trying to find a plant that has an invasive species. Dude, why aren't you going to the bathroom? Thank you. So the Sims Summit, um, I don't know how many of you guys watched it, but blown away, uh, we're getting infants. So I'm guessing that means like newborns are going to be like the objects, babies, maybe still. Um, and then there's going to be a life stage between newborn and toddler. Um, which that's a little weird to me. I would prefer if it was like... We just had, like, newborns as they were, kind of. I don't know. I guess, like, the toddlers. Yay, we found an infestive species, which we shouldn't be happy about, but we are now. Um... You know, I guess when I think about it, like in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, toddlers and babies were more toddlers and babies. Like, you had to work with them and teach them how to walk and how to talk and everything, right? But in The Sims 4, we don't do that. We don't have... Like, they get their movement skill and stuff, right? But you don't have the, the teach to walk option, which was always so cute with The Sims. Like, why is my, why is she stuck? She's stuck. Okay. Um... You know, with the, the toddlers, like, we we don't have to teach them, you know? Does that make sense? Like, like the way that toddlers are now, they can learn, they learn everything on their own. They're, like, basically already walking. They basically can climb up the stairs within like a day you know so it's just it's kind of useless so it looks like now we're going to get some of that middle ground which will be good um hello shanuala thank you for joining um so yeah, so we're getting um, infants in a few months, I guess, which is a big deal. Um, they announced sort of The Sims 5, which is a definitely big deal. Um, and not just that, but like they announced two more expansion packs. They announced some kits, I think. Um, we got a drop with some thank you um like items and stuff we got like a a plumb bob a ceiling fan and 
some Club Bob tattoos. And uh, yeah, so we got a lot of information. Um, some of it was like kind of weird. Um, I don't know who <laughs> the, the person who is like introducing everything. Um, she's just a little, uh, you know, she's interesting. I don't know. <laughs> um, but so yeah, we, we got a lot. Um, if you play Sims mobile or, uh, Sims free play, you got more stuff. So they announced, um, a, what's it called? They announced like a, a new update for them, um, with yachts or something. Um, so I'm hoping that we get something like that in the Sims 4, um, soon. I, maybe that's one of the expansion packs that they kind of teased us. I didn't really get to see, like they sh showed us like a room or something for the expansion packs. Um, so I didn't really get to glance at it that quickly. Um, they showed us some, uh, like lingerie and stuff that they're working on, which people have been asking for. Um, and then what else did the Sims Replay get and the Sims Mobile? They got visual updates like upgrades to how they look. Um, they look less like Sims 2, Sims 3, Sims, and more, um, more rounded, more soft, more like the Sims 4. Um, so that's a really good visual update because, yeah, it did not look that great honestly at first alrighty so let's see what my sims need to do Why don't you guys just go? If they woohoo in the shower, do they get clean? Let's go woohoo in the shower. Let's see if you get clean. So they talked a lot about woohoo at the beginning of the Sim Summit video, which was kind of weird. Um, like <laughs> the announcer was like, "We build a whole community where everybody." Uh, you know, talks about how they want to woohoo in different in different ways, and I'm here for it. And I'm just like, that's weird. Um, you know, mostly I think it's weird because up until recently, it seems like they've been really trying to push The Sims 4 for children. Um, and so we didn't have... Like, oh, let's go, you know, like, I don't know, the team pack and everything, they made it seem much more geared towards, towards kids. Um, I guess they're not going to woohoo. Okay. She's decided to groom herself. Well, harvest them. Here's our little wonder child. Oh, dang it. I didn't get it at the right time. Oh. 
What is she making? I hope that we get more mobility aids and stuff because they showed like someone was making like a Sims video movie kind of thing it looked like. Um, or maybe that's for Sims Sparked. I don't know. Um, but someone on there had a wheelchair so like I'm hoping because right now we've got like a, a downloaded CC wheelchair but basically it's a bike. So that's not really helpful, you know? I could have sworn that like these needed water. really bad about pronouns with my sims. I feel really bad about it. I switch between like he and they and she and they for them because we can't have more than one pronoun type. I don't know how many burgers they put on there, so I'm gonna have them start over. Whoops, might have been a whole meal. Custom food. Oh, what, we can only make one at a time? Wait, no, that's one. That's more than one, okay. These are downloaded from Ice Moon Moon. downloaded a lot of different um, things from Ice Moon Moon, different foods and stuff like that. The Sims Summit did also say that we were going to start getting monthly SDXs, which is a big deal. Um, I'm going to move Okay, so there's eight servings. Okay, now I'm gonna put this.
we're gonna have everybody come sit in the sukkah and eat. I love that you can nap in this because like I have a friend who had one and they said that they like loved to nap under them. And that was super warm in the summer. Call the meal. See, isn't this nice? Like, it's so sweet. What, are you really, you're not gonna eat? Oh, I guess you weren't hungry. Everybody's getting sick though. See, she can't spray for bugs yet, though.
got an allergy case too? Guess so. Back to life now. Okay, there's the allergy medication. explode this cave. Hello another TV viewer, thank you for joining me. I forget. I'm gonna go click some buttons so that way last night's stream can actually go on YouTube since I got too distracted 
and forgot to do that for like the past three videos. So now we're missing a bunch. Whoops. Export. Going to more them. Sim has to go explore the cave. Oh, can you go explore the cave? Are you too young to do that? Go explore the cave. Oh, only one person can explore at a time. All right then. Ancient wreck. Exploring deep into the cave, Leah discovered an underground beach occupied by an ancient sea wreck. While exploring the wreckage, she, the water, the rotted wood began to sway from the tidal waters coming in and out of the cove. Realizing that the area would flood soon, Leah fled the rising waters and back into the cave's tunnels, leaving their discovery behind. Okay. Let's all go back home now. We got what we need to do done. <clears throat>
checking my Twitter and I'm seeing some posts from Sim or Aaron and she's like, I will fully laugh at myself if I'm wrong and Sims 5 is announced, I'll own it. And then later she said um, that announcing Sims 5 this far out, like, because someone said it'd be smart to announce it in development and give us a 2024 release date. She said, I respectfully disagree announcing it that far out and trying to really sell Sims 4 is a risk. And I'm like, Aaron, I need to know how you feel now because that's what just happened. I mean, they didn't give like a 2024 release date. You know, they gave an even later release date. Like it's going to be three years out, I think they said. So that's just, it's really amazing. I just want to know how she feels. Order research books. I think I did. Handiness. I did. Research and debate. What level of research and debate are we on? Oh, because we need to get to level five. So, what's that? Book two? Go read in the soka. Really? Uh, Jesus. Go read. You shouldn't be scared of your wife who's a werewolf. They're your wife. Isn't that quaint? A little nighttime reading in the sukkah. I love it. Go make some green tea.
I don't under what keeps costing 25 simoleons? Like I keep getting random 25 simoleon charge whenever a sim does something. So upset when um, the daughter got sick once, and I, I went and had her buy some green tea from a vendor, and then she couldn't drink it. And it's like, why, why is she allowed to buy it if she can't drink it? It's tea. Like, people drink it when it, when they're sick. Kids drink it when they're sick. I don't understand.
Oh, okay. That's how they meant for. They have this want to mentor, but they weren't able to. haven't done gotten the umbrellas and that's really important given that if this sim gets wet then their rage goes up umbrella rack an umbrella.
go help your mom in the garden by eating. Working from home. Promoted. Lee has been promoted to conservation director. They will now make an additional 19 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 62 per hour. That's still not a lot for the Sims. I guess con conservationists don't make a lot of money. You don't get into that for money. They now also receive the following bonus. New conservationist clothes, active flower sale, or activate flower sale, sorry, and deactivate flower sale. sick child at home just means that we can help her with her other skills she needs to earn. your umbrella.
attempt mental telepathy. said change out of what clothes. Rising star of conservation. While out in the field one day, Leah was approached by a film crew. Wow. Apparently, they're part of a very famous studio and are scouting for up-and-coming conservationists to feature, one of whom is Leah. That's amazing. They would have a whole episode dedicated to themselves, showing off their projects and progress. This is a great opportunity to showcase Leah's knowledge and step into the limelight. However, the camera crew will need to close off their research grounds for filming. Should Leah participate in the filming? So either we do the episode and we lose job performance, or but we gain fame and money, money, or we decline the offer. Um, what's going to be better for our wonder child? I feel like Gaining money is going to be better in the long run, and she just got promoted, so if she loses some job performance, it's not a big deal. Right? Right? Let's see how big of a hit we took. That's not that bad. Leah nailed it. They took a lot of B-roll footage of them doing conservation-y things, too. Their episode was very popular, but received some black backlash online from people claiming that they are just an actress. How dare they?
Where's our trash bin? We have a trash bin, don't we? Don't have a trash bin? Oh, we do. It's right there. Can read this book and then when you're done reading the book to her then you guys can go to the market Maybe I'll have them make some kind of soup. If only we had matzo ball soup in the game and it had cold uh, remedy power. Oh my gosh, it's almost like Hufflepuff and I have been asking for this for over 250 days. You still feel uncomfortably wet, but you've changed out of your wet clothes multiple times. Uh, okay, so for no reason your 
clothes that you just put on are wet. Yours too. Put the... Okay. Whatever. So many debugs. How come I sell them for three simoleons and then you can buy them for fifteen? In the Sims Summit Day, they said that there's no inflation in the Sims, but that is only true for uh, build buy items. I have a healthy dose of inflation when it comes to anything else. Which, I mean, that's fair. That's accurate. But, yeah, it's just funny. See, it's fourteen dollars for an apple here. I feel like they are a carrot cake kind of family, so we'll get that. Buy dragon fruit? I think I did. Meat substitute.
She's going to go through a bag phase. I think she's going to go through a bag phase. See, and the fact that they're selling orchids for this much, but then when I go to sell it down here, it's 150 simoleons. That makes me cranky. Why do I have to pay so much more for the simoleon, or for the, the thing, and then I don't make that much? That's just rude. Oh, that's weird. What just happened? Switch control. They need to make a research plan. Lesson plan. That's the word. Go here. Thank you. 
monkey playing in the mud again. Come on, that was cute. There we go, that's a good one. I wonder if working on like needlepoint will help or the artsy thing. almost as if someone is controlling their life. Will Ismail finally fulfill their dreams? Stitch. It got put down somewhere and I don't know where. Where did she take her cross stitch out at? Stitch. 
that has mysteriously gone missing. picky eater now. Congratulations. What the heck, man? Stairs somewhere? I swear she had a small hoop that I clicked on and now it's gone. I'll find it eventually, I'm sure. stitch have gone. Did anybody see where my cross stitch went? Sorry. I'm going to put away some of these decorations. These eat cards don't need to be on the table. Forever. Oh wait, I got stuff. Dang it. No, I need to go back to the Lima. Oh, I guess we didn't get anything.
look at her cross stitching in the in the sukkah. That's so cute. Why am I hearing demon sounds? Sorry guys, I'm looking up something for my friend on I love that they're just like automatically going to the sukkah for things. Where is this thing I'm trying to find for my friend? Okay, well, when you're done eating, which I guess you are, go to bed.
some allergy medication. Take a shower. I feel like it's 3 o'clock in the morning, so we're going to travel without the daughter because she's sleeping, so if that's rule, I'm sorry. Research. Research methodologies. I like that as his research um, thing went up, he has more things that he can research. But 
You supposed to be sleeping. Girl. save. If you're going to be up, then you can read to your daughter. We'll pretend that you're teaching her how to read Braille. back upstairs and you need to sleep. You're still tired. I get that you're confident because you overcome the fear, but like you're one foot in, one foot out. Go back to sleep.
sorry guys, somebody was complaining about the babies thing and about infants coming in the Sims and they're like, that's a toddler pack, not a baby. And my friend's like, how do you expect a baby to look in the Sims? And the person said the baby's problem in TS4 is not about how they look. Their problem is they are objects and not Sims. They should go back to, they should have freed them from the crib. And I'm like, that's literally what they just announced though was that infants would no longer be in the cribs. So, like, it's either going to be, a, like, a, a an extra life stage between newborns and toddlers, or they're freeing the newborn from the crib completely. So, like, I, chill out. Um, <laughs> all right, so select a brand for Ismail. Administrator, um, since pursuing a career in university administration will fill a variety of roles, all critical to the success of the larger institution. You don't work directly with the students, but your decisions will impact their entire educational experience and their lives for years to come. Or professor. Pursue a career as a professor, run lectures, assist students, research for the university, and, of course, assign grades. So, we can't do that one because... That would require us to, like, actually go to the campus, which we're not going to be able to do. So... We're going to choose administrator. Got a thousand simoleons, a review budget proposal thingy, ask for donation, plan, agenda for faculty meeting, and write grants. Yay, Eliza aged up. Perfect timing. We're going to give her a teen one. Okay. Live fast. The Sim aims to get the most out of life by living carefree and rules free. Admired icon wants to be a trendsetter populated popular, influential, drama llama, wants all the drama all the time, or goal-oriented. Goal-oriented.
All right, let's go have her change her clothes. All right, guys, so since she just aged up, I'm going to hop off of stream because all I'm going to be doing now is getting her set up, like, her outfits and setting up for school and stuff like that. Um, inshallah, I will be back tomorrow. We do have a little pop-up. It says, Eliza has grown into a full-fledged werewolf. She has gained a temperament and now has to maintain fury. She can now also seek out a pack learn abilities, and partake in werewolf life. No, come back. There we go. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the stream and hanging out with me. Check out my Patreon for more things. And inshallah, I will see you tomorrow. Dag, dag.